in my last video we have discussed about data compression what is the advantage of data compression and how sap doing the data compression in this video we will see what is this term called oltp and olap and how before s4 hana we we were processing the data using oltp and olap and now what is the advantage of using the hana so we can do oltp and olap thing together let's get started so what is this oltp and olap the first the full form of oltp and olap oltp means online transactional processing olap means online analytical processing so in the oltp uh, i can say I, I just want to give the example oltp means our ecc system where we are having the lot of uh, transaction we are doing day by day we are creating the sales order we are creating the purchase order deliveries accounting document lot of things we are doing day by day and transactions are happening and the olap thing we can see where the warehouse data uh, database so bw related data where we have lot of data uh, where we are processing that data but the difference between the oltp and olap oltp since i told you transactional data this will be data like one year data or max two or three year data will be available but in the olap we have the historical data lot of data is there to analyze those data uh, from 15 years seven two to seven years i have just given example it can be 15 years 20 years the data warehouse like the things is there where we have we are where we are having the lot of data is there in the as i told you in oltp we do day by day to day operation and olap what we will do we will in the since we are having the historical data so we are analyzing those data and we are coming up with some conclusion for example one company are doing sale in each out each and every month of the uh, particular per product but now company want to know uh, this product how much they produce in each month so what they will do they will go with the historical data 10 15 years data and they will see how the how is the demand in which month how much they are selling to the customer based on that they will take a decision they will do they analyze the data historical data and they will do take a decision and based on that they will produce their goods and product so this is for analyzing the data that is the reason we are called analytical processing and it will be having the huge amount of data based on that they will come to conclusion they will not modify much those data just they there will be having the too much data third thing less data compared to olap hence fast processing since in the we have having the two years data only number of data is less so in the table we will be having less data so we can easily search through we can easily modify those data so the processing is the fast here we are having the huge data historical data is there so it will take time to analyze and read entire data so in oltp as i told you we will do most of the time changing of changing the data reading the data modifying the data deleting the data transactional things happening day by day we can create the sales order we can change the sales order sometime if you want you can modify and delete as well but in the historical data we will never touch the data we just read the data to analyze and come uh, to come to some conclusion so I, since uh, oltp is having the less number of data we need simple queries just write a select a statement or modify delete a statement we don't need much queries but in the since we are in the historical data we are reading but we need we have to come to some conclusion we, we have to be read based on lot of conditions and we have to apply uh, we have to write complex queries based on our requirement and then we have to do so olap thing uh, means we, we are only reading data but data is huge and we have to write the complex query to come to the conclusion so comp queries wise it is complex and an oltp in a, it is row store and olap column store because oltp uh, previously it was row store only because we most of the time uh, we we are because requirement is like that in olap uh, we are having the column store because only we are reading in olap because we are changing also frequently that is the reason it is row store so based on this this data is divided the divided and how we were doing previously let's see so previously what it is happening we were having the ecc system separate 
and one data warehouse BW system is separate. In ECC system, we are having the only the latest data, one or two year data, where we are doing day by day transaction, delivery creation, purchase order creation. We are doing a lot of things, modification and all. So this is the ECC system. And we are having one BW system where we are having the historical data. The one thing, what we have to do, we have to get the data from the system to the BW system. We are using ETL processing, this is called extraction trans extraction transformation and the loading process we call so etl process what, what we will do and we will put this data in the form uh, in in the utilization form and we will uh, put all the data so what is the disadvantage of this we are having same data in two, dif two different different database one is one is efficient for the transactional processing and one is efficient for the uh, reading processing and analyzing processing so we are having the multiple footprint of the data so this is not a good thing having the same data in different different place second thing we, we are not having the real-time data here whatever we are doing transactional processing we are having the real-time data but in the bw system since uh, since we are doing uh, either monthly or quarterly based on our requirement so here in the bw system there is no real-time data available but so because real-time data always available in the ECC or whatever the system we are using there it will be there so from here it it needs to copy to uh, copy to BW system so their real-time data will be not available to analyze so that is the second disadvantage of using the OLTP and OLAP separately but but HANA and onwards what we did since we have the processor the powerful processor so we will we put the both the things we are not replicating data from one system to another system we created one database only that can be used for the analysis purpose as well that can be used on as a transactional processing as well that is the reason we are telling in the OLTP and OLTP things we can do together in ABAP on SAP HANA so this is the advantage of doing uh, using the ABAP SAP HANA because we no need to store the data for separating processing our database is powerful it can do it can do both the uh, the query we can write complex queries as well and we can do day-to-day -day transaction as well in my next video we'll see about the insert only approach how what is the insert only approach in ABAP on HANA for, for before going to that video please like this video and subscribe this channel thank you and happy learning